Let's start by creating a plane with Shift A, Mesh, Plane. I want to rotate on the X axis. Press R, X, type 90 on the numpad and hit Enter to accept. We need to apply the rotation with Ctrl A, apply rotation. This is very important because we are going to use some modifiers otherwise they won't work correctly. Now press N in item tab. I'm going to increase to 3 meters on the Z axis. Press tab to go into edit mode. Control R to cut here. And also here. Again, Control R. Now with mouse wheel, increase number of cuts to 3. Now hold Shift and select these two faces. Then E to extrude and delete the faces with X. Select this edge and move it up. Now hold Shift and select these edges too. Control B to bevel and move the mouse wheel to increase the segments. Now select these faces and go to Mesh, Clean up, Limited Dissolve. We need to connect the vertices because we need geometry to bend the mesh. So what I'm gonna do is enable the knife tool by pressing K, then press A to cut straight lines. And just repeat the same process for the remain vertices. We need more geometry, so let's cut here. Now enable X-ray and delete the left of the mesh. Let's add a mirror modifier and apply it. Into edit mode, hold control to enable snap, move to the right and make sure to align it to the C axis. Now let's add an array modifier, enable merge, in count I'm going to increase to 8. And now let's add the simple deform modifier. Change to bend on the C-axis and increase to 360 degrees. We can still modify the count so we can make it bigger or smaller. Also we can modify the mesh. I'm going to select these edges with alt click then E to extrude and just move the vertices now we can apply the modifiers go to object Convert, Mesh, and this will collapse the modifiers. 
I'm gonna change the origin in object set origin origin to geometry now make sure to center the cursor by pressing shift C and now shift S selection to cursor now we can add a sphere S to scale Into edit mode, select these faces, hit X and delete them. Now in object mode, right click and shade smooth. To solve these shading problems, go to object data properties under normals enable auto smooth of course we can add a bevel modifier to smooth the edges i like to use j mesh just select the mesh and click bevel we can choose number of segments and bevel amount this is a free add-on you just need to download and install i'll put the link in the description thanks for watching